Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,294. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,294 to 1,295 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, the last three Excel Magic Tricks, we've been trying to score Myers-Briggs test. And we have this rectangular range. And in the first one, 1291, we saw how to use this table. In the next two videos, we saw how to unwind this into a proper data set and then just do a straight lookup. But check this out. Bill Sizzes commented in the first video and says, hey, no need to unwind if, instead of comparing the entire lookup table for scoring to the entire column of question and answer, instead of the whole table, we simply compare just the column for the letter E to all the answers. We get a bunch of trues or falses, and we'll count them up for each one of these. And we'll do that here. So we'll copy the formula over, and the range will automatically move to every new letter and, in essence, new lookup table. All right, so we're going to go ahead and come down here. And in fact, if I come over here on Alt-EAA, I don't even need that column. I'm going to click on the D, right click, delete that column. All right, you ready? In this cell right here, I'm going to take the entire two columns. So I'm going to click on the top cell, Control-Shift, Down arrow, F4 to lock it. And I'm going to join it using the ampersand to the second column, Control-Shift, Down arrow, F4. Now if I evaluate this with F9, you can see I've simulated an entire column of answers. Now from this person's answers for this test or assessment, here they are. I need to compare all of them to the E column and figure out how many trues there are to get a score in this cell for the letter E. Then, of course, the formula needs to be copied over to then compare against the F and the I and so on. Control-Z. Now what I'd like to do is directly compare this column, use an equal sign, and say, hey, are any of you equal to any of these? Now, the problem is, if I'm comparing with a comparative operator two columns, they both have to be the same size. So if I evaluate this with the F9 key, we can clearly see that's not going to work. There's eight falses, because all it was able to do is compare 1A to 11B. 2A to 15A. Once it got down to here, these two comparisons, then all the other ones are NAs. Control Z. Hey, and this is what Bill Sizzes said. He said, hey, comparing two columns, not going to work. But if we have a column and a row, we're totally allowed to compare them. In fact, anytime you have column and row comparison, when you evaluate it, returns a rectangular range. So what are we going to do? We're going to transpose this with the transpose function. Come to the end, close parentheses. And in fact, let's look at the array syntax. I'm going to click on the inside here and evaluate it with F9. Notice curly brackets house the array of values, and semicolon means go down a row. So boop, 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 control Z. Now if I highlight the entire transpose in F9. It's replaced with a comma. And comma in array syntax means go over a column. We're comparing a row now, because remember, a row is filled with columns. We're comparing row to column, Control Z. Now this will work, F9. And there are a bunch of trues and falses. Now I'm going to come up to the formula bar and pull this down and try and scroll up, because we want to see how this works. How is it comparing? Notice, false is all comma, 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 and then a semicolon. It is now comparing 1A to every one of these, 2A to every one of these. It's not till it gets to the 616B that it compares all of these. And so when we look up here, it'll be false, 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 and our first true. Now look, false, there's eight of them, because 1A can't be found here. We go to the second. There's our second semicolon, this third one, fourth one, fifth one. And it's not until the sixth one, there's our first true. So for us, we had column compared to row, 
It'll compare each one of the items to all of these items. Control Z. We have an array of trues and falses. Now we just need to add. Now, I would like to just put this in count ifs and count trues, but count ifs does not handle an array. I'd like to also put it into some product. Some product can't see the trues and falses. So I'm actually going to put parentheses around that. Remember, that's an array of trues and falses. And I'm going to use double negative to convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros. F9, now we have something we can add. Control Z. Here's another problem, though. This transpose is going to cause trouble because if I try to put it into some product, because I'd like to, that array argument in some product can handle array operations without Control Shift Enter. But watch this. The transpose function is going to trump the sum product. If I hit Enter, it gives me a value error, which means I forgot to do Control Shift and Enter. When I do Control Shift Enter, I'm telling Excel to calculate that array calculation. Look up to the formula bar. Those curly brackets are Excel telling you it understood. Now I'm going to hit F2. I don't want to leave it as some product. And the reason why is I would like to be unambiguous. And because most people know that this function can handle array operations, when they enter it and get a value error, they're going to be like, what's happening? Maybe they don't know about transpose. So I'm going to leave the product part out and just use sum. Now, if someone looks at it and they know about array formulas, they're like, yeah, this needs Control-Shift-Enter. So the idea there is that we're being unambiguous. Since some product usually doesn't require Control-Shift-Enter, and this formula does, I'm using some, not some product. Now I'm going to escape and copy this over. Go to the last cell, hit F2. Notice when we copy it over, the cell references worked. And when I escape, you can see the curly brackets were brought over also. All right, love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Bill Scissors for that amazing array formula. All right, we'll see you next video.